In this video, we'll use WhatsApp to query the NPM search API using the Twilio API for WhatsApp. We use the code from a blog post written by Dominic that shows us how to set this up using Twilio functions. The link for the blog post is down in the description and appearing in a card above right now. This video assumes that you already have your Twilio API for WhatsApp sandbox set up. If you don't, there's a link down in the description below for a video that will help you get that set up. Our application will respond to an incoming message to the WhatsApp sandbox, and we'll write our code inside of the Twilio runtime using functions. Head over to functions and go into the configure options section, and we're going to add some dependencies. We need a few NPM modules inside of our application. We use Axios for web requests, and we use the common tags module to help us with formatting our WhatsApp responses. So click the plus button a few times, add those two dependencies, and hit save to save them to your configuration. Next, head back to manage functions where you can create a new function. Since WhatsApp applications look like SMS applications, we can just use the hello SMS template. Rename your function npm search bot and give it a path of npm dash search. Copy that URL and save the function. Then we're going to head back over to our WhatsApp sandbox to put that function URL inside of the a message comes in webhook for our WhatsApp sandbox. So paste that in there and hit save. Excellent. Head back over to the function and we'll actually start writing our code. The first thing we'll do here is pull in our dependencies. So we need Axios for the web requests that we'll make to the NPM search API. Then we need strip indent out of common tags, which we'll use to clean up the responses that we make back to the WhatsApp user. And then we need the escape function out of query string so that we can escape the message body that the user sends in via WhatsApp, just to make sure they're not trying to do anything nefarious. Now down inside of our function, let's take care of changing this let to a const and declare a query that will hold the escaped version of the message that the user sent in in the event.body. Then we'll declare our npm search API URL, which will be registry.npmjs.com. We're using v1 search, passing in as the text the query that the user sent in via WhatsApp. We are going to be searching the name, author, description, and rating fields, and then we'll sort them based on the rating uh, descending. Now that we have a search API URL to use, we can use Axios to make a get request to that URL. When that get request resolves, we will get some data back, and that data represents the packages that matched the search. So what we want to do here is we want to take the first package that came back and return its package name to the WhatsApp user in the response message. So we'll pull out the package name of the first one, and we'll return that response text from this promise. If anything bad happens, we will catch it and we'll log it out to the Twilio Functions console and return an error message back to the WhatsApp user. Once all of this resolves, we need to take whatever message, either the package name or the error message, and return it using twilio.message as our response and call back from our Twilio function to send the message back to the user. Once this is done, we can save our function and I'll pull out my phone inside of WhatsApp and let's do some queries. First, I'll look for Dominic via author. Um, he wrote the blog post for the code in this and the package that comes back is node and run, which is great for using .env files inside of your node applications. We search Twilio and we get back the Twilio helper library as you might expect. Okay, let's extend this application. WhatsApp supports markdown formatting for its messages. We have things like italicized text, bold text, strike through text, monospace if you're showing code, and we can even use emoji and things like that as you could in any messaging platform. So let's use this to provide a list of three formatted entries back from our NPM search. So first we want to write a function called format entry that's going to take a package and a score. Uh, and what we want to do here is take the score, take the detail from the score, and store that as a quality. Uh, and then we're going to use the package and pull out the name, version, description, and publisher out of the package that was passed in. We're going to create some stars out of the quality. So we're going to repeat stars for math.round quality times five. So we can have up to five stars for our package. Okay, we're using strip indent so that we can neatly format some text. Uh, and have all of that white space stripped out later. Uh, this is going to, first line is going to be the name and the stars. 
And then I wanted to show you where I'm getting my emoji uh, so that you can recreate this yourself. I'm using Emojipedia and we're gonna search here for a heart. You can search for anything and find just about anything here. Uh, I'm gonna grab this sparkling heart so that we can say that this package was made with love by publisher.username. Okay, and then we'll use a little tag one for the version number. And then on the next line, we'll insert the description uh, and I'll put this in triple back ticks. This will give us a uh, monospace formatting, not unlike what you might see in a plain text readme.md file. Uh, and then on the last line, we'll use a box emoji for the package URL, which will be npm.im slash package name. Excellent. So that's our format entry function. We'll give it a save. And then we're going to head back down into our um, actual Twilio function down here where we're sending the text. What we want to do is where the response text uh, was getting set in the first uh, promise resolution from the search, we want to slice out the first three items from the package array and map them over the format entry function that we just wrote. We'll join them all together with a separator. Uh, that'll just be a new line and then triple dash, then a new line. And then at the bottom of the response text, we'll say that there are more results available uh, at the search query that we did above. So excellent, that is how to search and format the responses. Let's give this a save and head back over to our phone and run another query. Now search for Twilio and we'll get back the top three results from the NPM search for Twilio. You can see them neatly formatted by the code that we wrote in format entry. That's all there is to it for querying NPM via WhatsApp. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button over on the left. If you want to watch another video, I picked one out just for you in the top right. And if you're looking for the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. Until next time, I'm out of here.